Welcome to the Potter Blog site, January 20th, Friday evening. Uh, this evening's word is La Nina. Uh, La Nina is the uh, event, it's the opposite of the El Nino event in the, that occurs off the Pacific. Uh, I believe it's an upwelling of cool water. Uh, in essence, what it has done, it has split the jet stream in half. Northern half, southern half. Now, this chart here is from the NOA. NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Uh, this is a 30-day mean, this means it's a 30-day average of the winds at the uh, 250 uh, millibar level. That's a uh, pressure corresponds to a height. Uh, different colors here are different wind speeds in meters per second. Uh, the dark red up here at 50, uh, 50 meters per second is roughly uh, 110 miles per hour. Now what's happened with this uh, La Nina event is, is we actually have a splitting of the jet stream and uh, here's Japan, Fukushima and you can see there's a super highway of high speed wind going out into the middle of the ocean and then the La Nina splits it in two uh, northern branch which goes up into Canada and occasionally drops down into St. Louis and when it's dropping down to St. Louis uh, we get background, oh, sorry, we get uh, radiation in our uh, rain, uh, that's minimum 20 times over background. Uh, the other side where it splits, uh, when we get uh, radiation coming up from the southern jet stream, uh, typically it's eight times background. Now what's interesting and unusual about this and concerning for people in South America and for people living in Hawaii is that this La Nina event is splitting the jet stream in two and you can see here's the equator and it's actually sending Fukushima fallout across the equator uh, into South America. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit better on this so you can see these arrows. But basically we've got high speed winds and it also directs it into Hawaii. So Hawaii should be seeing a lot more fallout than uh, they were previously and it's definitely going into South America now these speeds are high enough where all these locations North and South America are likely to see uh, short half-life fallout from Fukushima uh, especially the radon daughters that are being kicked up out of the groundwater as the uh, aquarium steams in the groundwater so that's the essence of this evening's alert is that unfortunately South America is now getting uh, hit with Fukushima fallout uh, it's unfortunate for many reasons, one of which is we're looking forward to our uh, winter fruit and food supplies coming from South America. Now one other interesting aspect here, and I'm going to switch over to surface winds. You know, this is a surface wind uh, animation from uh, NOAA, and it's what we'll notice in this, let me zoom in a little closer is that the surface winds, winds at the surface of the ocean, have actually been blowing out of Fukushima and down into Australia. And what we'll see is, let's look here at the date, there was a uh, eight times background detection in uh, Caloundra, Australia, which is in uh, Queensland that occurred I believe on January the 8th. Uh, extremely high wind You'll see it right in here. There's a, a wind shift took some radiation in from somewhere off the ocean and drove it into Australia. The event lasted for over four hours and uh, basically uh, blew it in directly over Brisbane. So scary times.